Hello and welcome back to GT Retro World again. I think I said a couple of weeks ago that I'd uh, stumbled across a 148 GT LDX. Well here it is. I thought I'd bring it down. I actually fired it up literally 10 minutes ago and it's receiving fine. I mean to be honest. Trinidad Tobago was booming in and that was on the Mighty Magnum which is still three foot off the deck or thereabouts. So it's receiving fine but there's no TX. So it's not even switching to to TX. It's just you know it's it's doing nothing really. So that's probably one little probably a minor problem. Could be a bit of a fussy problem to track down, but I don't think so. Anyway, it's here. It's a Mark One, uh, or the earlier One Four Eight, but we used to call it the Mark One over here, didn't we? Obviously, it probably used the PC Eight Seven Nine board, which was. It was all right if you didn't do too much with it. I mean, you used to, people used to overstretch these things, and I'll come to that in a minute with it regarding this one. Um, but I think left, like the three, lots of 40, I think they were all right, you know, they, they were okay. The bleep was a bit hit and miss, wasn't it? A bit like a cheap, um, but that could be modded if you really so desired. But anyway, um, back to the radio. I'll, I'll fire it up, and I'll pick this up off a, off a local lad. I can't remember when, it's, anyway. Fire it up. As you can see on first look, the nice or not so nice blue LED. I bloody hate that to be honest. I can't bear the sight of them. I think it looks shit. But uh, that's just my opinion. Some people like them, but anyway, it's receiving fine. I'm fairly certain of it. But there's no, I'll show you this before we give you a look around it. There's no TX. Even the light's not. Uh, switching over to TX so we know it's something around that uh, area um, I can't see it being a major problem I mean I was going to have a look at it today but the, the old um, multimeter I had from years ago it's a Fluke 12 which was a bloody trusty good meter that won't work <laughs> again it's been a long time since I've messed about with this, these things you know so but yeah so me, me good old trusty Fluke 12 multimeter is dead uh, even with a new battery and still nothing, so I'll have a look at that. I mean, those are quite simple inside, but again, it might be just knackered. But anyway, I did notice something about this radio, which was a bit off-putting. I think it's been e -prommed. It's definitely got a 40, it's got the 40 in this, I know it has without a doubt because uh, I checked it against my little uni then. Again I haven't got a signal generator so I can't do much there either. Um, I have got a... What's it called? The Black Star? Uh, frequency counter, I don't know where that is but I have got one somewhere but my oscilloscope and the rest of the junk I got rid of years ago because it was just big heavy all industrial gear. I mean half it was off submarines I think, you know, just you know what I mean, where I'm coming from anyway. But anyway, that's that's one thing that's a bit off-putting. It's um, obviously been e prompt I think, by the looks of it. But everything else, other than that, is working, I think. So what I'll do anyway, I'll have a quick flick. Just It's going to want a good alarm at this like it's been a lot a long time. Like I say, as soon as I get things, may I just shove them up there out the way. I'll try and find out when I got this because I know I still talk to the ladder, I got it off. I thought it was missing to be honest, but um, yeah, I stumbled across it a couple of weeks back. But anyway, I'm going to show you a look around the radio, then we're going to pop the lid off and see what's going on in here. Eh? Probably hell on earth, no doubt, but there you go. Like I say, no TX. I think from earlier playing with it, RX is fine or somewhere near. But there's a look at the radio anyway. If you're not familiar with these, they're pretty straightforward really. You've got your volume, your squelch, your mic gain, your RF gain, your SWAR calibrate. 
Um, obviously your band selection with this has got six in it now no doubt which will be UK 40 low and super low super high if that's what you want to call it high band mid band um, CW FM AM upside band low side band again pretty straightforward your fan cost clarifier uh, KC shift channel 9 that's still active on this still so it still works Tone iron low still works on it which is good noise blanker and automatic noise limiter still works and this is your swire calibrate switch i don't know if that works obviously i can't transmit um but to be honest it's actually in tidy condition it it isn't bad to look at so i'm going to give you a little walk around and we'll go from there and i'll pop the lid off in a second so that's the, the front it's got a bit of i don't know what it is but it's not bad on the whole you know what i mean i've seen the damn sight worse um so that's the front you got that there i'll have to go around the rear now this is in really tidy condition on the back yeah even the lids uh, yeah the, the case or lids whatever you want to call them in decent condition yeah it looks looks fairly straight to be honest um, I don't know if I've got the original mic with this, I don't think I did. Uh, if I have, I'll f dig it out over the coming weeks. Obviously, said no bracket with it, or oh, then wouldn't be in on the bottom. So that's the radio anyway. So what we'll do now, I'll um, I'll put the lids off and let's see what's underneath this uh, old thing. Eh? Right, guys, lids are off. Um, this is an unusual one. Um, I've had a look around it anyway, a little vague look anyway, just to get me head around it a little bit and it's probably something quite straightforward and simple I think. I'm just going to need a multimeter though first on it, I'd find these voltages and seeing where this is dropping out, but it's um, it's had a couple of caps changed, uh, a couple of variable resistors, I'll let you have a little look at There you go, you might get a better view there. It's pretty clean inside to be fair, it really is. But the biggest shock horror is this thing on. I'm not keen on placing an EEPROM on the top really. It should have been in here, I think, personally. It's a bit sandwiched, isn't it? But obviously he's just made it easy for himself or whoever's fitted it. I think it's still performing, but I just think it's a bit of a stretch for these uh, 879s, to be honest, uh, f uh, six banks. I just think it is. Um, it's had it's had one of the outputs changed in the past there's a bit of work around here that's been faffed about with but other than that apart from the EEPROM it's actually again it's quite tidy I just don't know why anyone would want to um, wideband uh, 879 I don't think they're really keen on it either um, but it's there it's in uh, I don't know whether it's worth working around it or not I mean, to be honest, I don't know why I'm even starting with these bloody things, because I wouldn't need an oscilloscope, signal generator, probably a new bloody multimeter now, eh? Um, it's probably, probably going to cost me around about two, three hundred pound plus just to set myself up to even start farting about with these daft things. They're not even worth it, I don't think. But it does, it does look tidy. I can't see, like I say, I can't see, apart from, I am said that. That diode, obviously this has had a bit of a pop in its past, look at that, that's a bit, uh, a bit of a 10-1 repair on that, like Jesus, yeah, it's not the best, not the best workmanship on that, but other than that, it, I don't know how long that's been done, I have no idea how, how long that EEPROM's been in there, it looks quite old, I can't really, it's hard to say. But on all the, the, the board, apart from, like I say, a bit of work around, like you say, there has been a bit of work around the TX area. Actually, it's had a new audio as well. Yeah, it's had a few bits in here. Yeah, it's had a few bits. I'll give you another look anyway before I put it down. Get an idea there. I'll, I'll float around it and 
see what your verdict is of it. Be interesting to to hear your thoughts, guys. Like I said, it's the Mark One Eight Seven Nine. I think I've already said that about three times. Uh, this is. It's had a couple of caps, quite a few tranny changes. A couple of variable resistors have been changed. Reverse polarity diode that's been changed. Again, not the best job you can see there. But other than that, it is quite a tidy little board. It's I've seen a heck of a lot worse than these things, have you? I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's probably worth saving, to be fair. Um, and it does receive within reason. I mean, it's a bit quiet today on there, but when it had Debago was uh, coming through quite tidily, but um, it seems to have died down the skip now, so I can't really judge it. Um, it needs a new meter lamp as well, of course, because I'm not having a blue LED in this thing. It's terrible, that, isn't it? But yeah, it was, it was the radio everyone wanted, wasn't it, back in the 80s? You had to have a Cobra 148 GTL DX, and now look, they're just a just a bit of fun, aren't they? Really, just for the hobbyists, I suppose. I mean, I guess people still use them, no doubt. Um, I don't think I'll ever use this again, like I doubt. I don't think I have any reason to. Would be nice to get it going. Well, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's the the Mark One. I'm tempted to take this back to, to the three bands, the the high, mid and low. Take it back to where it should be really. I think it'd be a lot easier on it. I am really tempted to be honest. There's a bit of splicing here and there on the tracks like, but I can soon sort them out I suppose. I don't know what to do. I mean to be honest, I'm doing what I'll end up, do you know, I'll probably end up putting this back in the bloody loft no doubt, until I get the right equipment. Like I say, I'm gonna need a multimeter. Uh, cyanide mate, it might be handy as well as the oscilloscope, obviously, and a signal generator. I saw, like, I didn't even sell them. I give them away actually. My old, old six gens and uh, oscilloscopes, Cause, like I said, they're, like, they're really big, hefty pieces of equipment, and probably useless this day and age. You know, I, I've seen a few signal generators. I was looking last night, and you can pick them up quite reasonable. But I don't know if they're any good. So there's that to consider as well. Just checking what I need, and somewhere to start doing this. There's no way I'm messing about in here. No chance. <laughs> I've got this room all nice and pretty for me. Do you know what I mean? For doing this bits and bobs, I'm a bit of fun like this. But uh, I think I'm gonna have quite a few radios to fettle. Um, I suppose even just aligning them and tidying up a little bit there. Checking RX, TX and audio levels, gains and this and that, you know, it might be worth having a few little bits and bobs again. But what I'll do first, I'll get a multimeter on this. When I finally get mine going, that is, if I can. I'll buy a new one. And um, check for some voltages and see what's um, gone US here for this, not the TX. I can't see it being much, I mean there's not a lot to these really, to be fair, is there? Um, so, we'll go from there, I'll put a, a new, get rid of that LED out of that signal meter as well. Anyway guys, it was just a quick one, I just wanted to show you that I, they actually found the damn thing. And we'll go from there, don't expect this to be back on the desk in the next week or two, because I don't work like that. But hopefully before the year's out there, eh? we'll see before the year's out, I'll have this up and running. And we'll see some action out of it, see if it, uh, see if it works eh, see if we can get it working. I mean, probably the easiest solution to this would have been send it off to someone like Nick, if he's still messing about with him. I have no idea if he is, but that would have been the easiest solution. Would have saved me a lot of hassle, a lot of equipment purchase, and it would have been back here within less than a week, wouldn't it, something like that. But um, anyway, I'll have a think about it. I don't know if he's still going. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, on that note, guys, 
we'll shoot off we have a thumbs up and the subscribe wouldn't go amiss for the channel and we'll catch you later